Hi everyone, I am Kenneth A. Ito ko sa'yo and I will be your professor for today. So before we proceed for our main topic, let's start our day with a prayer. May I ask Miss Isabel to lead our prayer? Thank you. Okay class, let's close our eyes and bow to our heads and feel the presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Mrs. Isabel, for that wonderful prayer. Okay, class, so before we proceed to the discussion for today's lesson, I have prepared an activity for you all. I have your different kinds of words that are listed in columns, and I want you to read it out loud. These words are related to the main topic for today's lesson. So, uh, we're going to start with Mr. Kyle. Kyle, can you read the first column? Thank you. So, uh, for the next column, uh, may I call Miss Isabel? Thank you, Miss Isabel. So, uh, for the next column, can I call, how about, Miss Julia? Please read the third column. Thank you for your participation. So for the last column, may I call uh, Mr. Steven, please read the last column. Thank you very much. Okay class, so our activity does not end there. After reading different kinds of words that are listed in the column, I want you to answer a couple of questions that I have prepared in order to uh, determine whether you have prior knowledge about the main topic for today's lesson. Uh, so the first question is, uh, what did you observe or what have you noticed about the words that I have provided? Uh, may I call Mr. Christian? Yes. Okay class, so the second question is, after reading the words in the columns, uh, do you, what do you think? Or do you have any idea what will be the main topic for today's lesson? Yes, Miss Isabel. Correct, that's it. Thank you, Miss Isabel. Okay class, so Miss Isabel is correct, but we are going to be more specific. So what we'll be discussing for today's lesson is about rhyme in poetry. Uh, we're going to discuss different rhyming schemes and different types of rhyme. So uh, before we proceed to the discussion, of course it is important for us to know what is the meaning of rhyme. So is there anyone who could tell me the meaning of rhyme? Yes, Mr. Kai. Okay, thank you for your answer. Okay class, so Kyle's answer is also correct. Rhyme means having the same sound at the end of the word. Okay, so let's proceed. Uh, let's take a look at the power of rhyme presentation. Uh, if we're going to talk about rhyme, rhyme is the use of corresponding sounds in lines of writing. Take note that we are talking about rhyme and poetry, right? So, uh, uh, it is important class to remember that uh, rhyme does not only occur at the end of the word or the line, but it can also be found in the middle. So later on, we are going to discuss about that topic. Uh, so I will give you an example of the rhyme that has uh, corresponding sounds at the end of the line. So an example is, the moon shines so bright, it's like the sun in the night. So the corresponding, uh, the words that has corresponding sounds uh, at the end of the line is the, uh, are the words bright and night. Okay, so that's uh, that's an example for uh, corresponding sounds at the ends of the line. Okay. Okay, class. So let's proceed for the next topic. So the next thing that we're going to talk about is different rhyming schemes. So the first different rhyming schemes uh, is alternate rhyming scheme. Okay. 
So, uh, may I call Miss Julian to read what is an alternate writing skill. Okay, thank you. That's it. So, alternate rhyming scheme has the pattern of ABAB. Okay, so later on, I will give you an example. I will show you an example of uh, poetry that uh, uses alternate rhyming scheme. Okay. Okay, class. So, the next one is triplet rhyming scheme. Uh, may I call Mr. Christian to read what is a triplet rhyming scheme? Okay, thank you. So, uh, as you can see, guys, uh, this type of rhyming schemes are very easy to understand, right? So, if we're going to talk about triplet, it, it uses the pattern of AAA or triple A. So, it will be easy if to identify if the poetry is using a triplet rhyming scheme or not, right? Okay, class. So, the next rhyming scheme that we are going to talk about is a couplet rhyming scheme. So, uh, may I ask Miss Isabel to read what is a couplet rhyming scheme? Thank you very much. So, uh, as you can see, guys, it is just like the triplet, uh, triplet rhyming scheme, right? So, it is very to understand because it only uses uh, the pattern of AA or double A. Okay, so let's proceed. So, the next one is ballad. May I call uh, Mr. Kyle? Please read what is a ballad. Okay, thank you. So that's it guys, if we're going to talk about ballad, it uses a uh, pattern of ABAB, BCBC. Okay, so uh, it will be easier for you to determine whether the poetry is using a ballad type of scheme. So it is usually in three stanzas. Okay, so the next one is uh, Shakespearean sonnet. So uh, this one is a uh, slightly complicated type of rhyming scheme. So let's, uh, may I call... Again, Miss Isabel, uh, can you read about the Shakespearean sonnet? Okay, thank you. Okay, so I'm very sure all of you class are uh, curious what is uh, an iambic pentameter. Okay, so if we're going to talk about iambic pentameter, it is a line of writing that consists of 10 syllables. It has a specific pattern of uh, unstressed syllables followed by stressed syllables or short syllables followed by long syllables, okay? So if we're going to talk about Shakespearean sonnet, it has the pattern of A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D, E, F, E, F, N, G, G, okay? So that's the pattern of Shakespearean sonnet. It is a time of rhyming schemes that are, uh, that are slightly complicated, okay? Okay class, so here are some examples of poetry that uses different rhyming schemes. So the first one is alternate rhyming scheme. Uh, it is a poetry entitled Neither Out Far Nor In Deep by Robert Frost. So as you can see, it uses the rhyming scheme. Uh, it uses the pattern of A, B, A, B. So uh, the, uh, the first and third line uses the word uh, land and sand which is uh, rhyme to each, uh, rhyming with each other. So, and the second and fourth uh, uh, line uses the word day and way, uh, which is also uh, rhyming with each other, okay? So, that's the alternate rhyming skip. Okay, class. So, the next example is a poetry uh, entitled Upon Julius Clothes by Robert Herrick. So uh, this type of poetry uses a triplet rhyming scheme. So it is very obvious that it uses the pattern of A, A, and A, or triple A. So uh, this poetry uses the words goes, flows, and clothes, which rhymes to each other. So that's the poetry that uses triplet rhyming schemes. Okay, so the next example is a uh, poetry entitled Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Zewis. So, uh, this type of poetry uses a couplet rhyming scheme, okay? So, uh, take note guys, the, uh, if we're going to talk about couplet rhyming scheme, uh, it, it is not limited with only a pattern of AA, right? So, as you can see, it uses uh, this poetry uses a pattern of AA and BP. So, the first and second line uses the word there and everywhere, which is uh, rhyme, 
which rhymes with each other. Okay, so the third and fourth line uh, uses the word ham and am, which also rhymes with each other. Okay, so this type of poetry uses a couplet rhyming scheme. Okay, class, so the next example is a poetry entitled Ballad of Modest Confession by Hilaire Bellion. So, uh, this type of poetry uses a ballad rhyming scheme. Okay, so uh, as you can see, uh, it uses the pattern of A, B, A, B, uh, B, C, B, C, and B, C, B, C. Okay, so uh, as, as I mentioned earlier, this type of poetry or this type of rhyming scheme is most uh, commonly used in three stanzas. Okay, so uh, this obvious that it uses uh, this type of poetry is written in three stanzas. Okay, class, so the last example that I'm going to show you uh, is a poetry entitled uh, Sonnet 18 by William Shakespeare. So, uh, this type of poetry, as you can see, uses a uh, Shakespearean sonnet type of rhyming scheme, right? So, uh, if you are going to look at the poetry, it uses the pattern of A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D, E, F, E, F, and G, G, which is the pattern uh, in Shakespearean sonnet. So, uh, this proves that the uh, this kind of poetry uses the Shakespearean sonnet rhyming scheme. Okay, class. So the next topic that we're going to talk about is common types of rhyme. So I have here three common types of rhyme. So the first one is full rhyme. So may I ask Miss Isabel, can you please read what is common type? Of, what is the first common type of rhyme? Thank you very much. So as you can see, guys, uh, if we're going to talk about full rhyme. It uses the uh, same syllables and assonance. So, uh, assonance, if we're talking about assonance, uh, it means uh, it is the repetition of vowel sounds uh, within uh, two or more words within a line. So, example is ace, base, lace. So, uh, as you can see, it has the same syllable which uses one syllable and it also uses... Uh, the same repetition of vowel sounds within the words. Okay, so that is uh, full rhyme. Okay, class. So the next common type of rhyme is half rhyme. Okay, so uh, may I call Miss Julian? Can you please read what is a half rhyme? Thank you very much. So as you can see here, guys, uh, the word bulb and help are examples of uh, half rhyme. So how uh, the word bald and held are almost similar to each other, right? Uh, but they are different in assonance. They have different vowels, so that makes them half right. So the other example is uh, long and swing, which is uh, also almost similar to each other, but they also have different assonance or they have different vowel within their words. And take note that the uh, words long and swing have also different uh, numbers of syllables so that makes them uh, half rhyme okay okay class so the last common type of rhyme is called internal rhyme uh, may i ask miss julian can you please read what is uh, internal rhyme thank you very much so class if you will remember i have stated earlier that uh, Corresponding sounds in lines of writing can also be found in the middle of the lines. So that is what internal rhymes are. Okay, so uh, if we're going to look at the example given, uh, I went to town to buy a gown. I took the car, it wasn't far. So the words that rhyme with the gown is the word town, and the word that rhymes with far is the word car. So if we will observe carefully, we will see that uh, those words appeared in the middle of the lines instead of appe appearing in the, uh, in the end of the sentence or the lines. So that is what uh, internal rhymes are. So that's it. For, that's all for the common types of rhymes. So do you have uh, any questions? None? Okay, thank you very much. Okay, class. So we will proceed with a process called evaluation. Now, so I have prepared two activities for you. So I just want you to familiarize with the usage of rhyming scheme in poetry. So this is not that very hard. Uh, I will I will give you ten minutes, and I will provide you a poetry entitled "Stopping by Woods in a Snowy Evening" by Robert Frost, 
and all you have to do is uh, read it silently and read it by yourself then after that I will explain the instructions for the second activity okay so good luck and do your best Okay class, so the last activity that I will give you is called rhyming. So I want you to provide four words that has the same rhyme with the words that I have given. Okay, so the subject of this uh, activity is friends. So the words that uh, the four words that I have given is uh, the, the personalities and characteristics of my friends. So I want you to provide words. Uh, it, and it doesn't not, uh, it doesn't need to be related with the subject of this activity. All you have to do is provide words that have the same rhyme of the words that I have given. Okay, so good luck and do your best. Okay, class. So I want you to participate with this kind of activity. So uh, let's start with Mr. Kyle. Uh, can you please tell me the words that you have chosen that rhymes with the word kind? Thank you very much. So how about uh, Miss Isabel? Can you please tell me the words that you have chosen that uh, rhymes with the word reliable? Very good, thank you very much. So, how about uh, Mr. Christian? Can you please tell me uh, the word that you have chosen, words that you have chosen that rhymes with the word uh, loud? Okay, thank you very much. So, for the, for the last word, uh, may I call Miss Julian, okay, so can you please tell me the words that you have chosen that rhymes with the word cheerful? Very good class, okay, thank you for your participation. So I, uh, I have an announcement. Uh, I will still give you an assignment. It is not that hard. It is very easy. I just want you to create. A poetry okay so uh, a poetry uh, your work should uh, show the usage of different kinds of rhyming scheme and uh, different types of rhyme okay so the deadline will be next week uh, so you will have lots of time to do it uh, good luck and do your best uh, that's all for today's class I hope you learned something from mr. Kenneth Ida Hussein uh, thank you very much and have a great day